So a couple months ago, I went to my optometrist for my yearly exam. Which one looks clear, one or two? Two. Oh wait, did you mean the number or? All right, everything looks good. My doctor recommended me to check out LASIK because my eyes haven't changed for the past few years. The biggest thing that I didn't like about LASIK was that you have to spend two weeks in glasses before the surgery. But because of the pandemic, I don't really have anywhere to go. So I was like, okay, I'll go check it out. Luckily, during this time, my friend Philip, who you might remember from previous vlogs, just got his LASIK eye surgery. So I asked him a bit about his experience. Philip! How's your LASIK experience so far? Oh, it's, it's amazing, bro. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, like, waking up in the morning, like, and not needing glasses. But, like, it's still kind of blurry when I wake up in the morning. Isn't that just because it's dry? Like, because your eyes yeah, are not... Yeah, It seems like everything is good. It's just the dry eyes is, like, the only issue. Yeah, and even, like, dry eyes, it's, like, from person to person. So, like, you, may, you might not even have any, like, dry symptoms at all. Like, mm -hmm. is it really depends on the person and how, like, your eyes... Oh, react. Them. Everyone that I talked to about LASIK had good things to say. So I was like, okay, everything seems to fit into place. I have some time to wear glasses. Surgery didn't seem like it was too difficult. There doesn't seem to be too many complications afterwards. Maybe dry eyes. So I was like, all right, let's get LASIK. I'm about to go to bed. I have to make sure I get a good night's rest and uh, eat a good breakfast tomorrow. I think I'm a little nervous, but I can't really think about it because I have to go to sleep, so we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Google, turn off the lights. Today is surgery day, so I've got to go eat breakfast and head over. Mom is my designated driver. Here we are. The surgery itself is 15 minutes, but you're there for like two hours because they gotta make sure, like double check, triple check, to make sure that they get the best readings so that way they don't like mess up your eyes. I think the biggest fear is the anticipation leading up to the surgery. Almost time, very close time now. Just in the office waiting. Once the surgery starts, it's like pretty quick. Like the surgeon tells you what to do. He keeps telling you what to do. So you kind of just focus on the surgeon's voice and then you just do what he says. Before that though, because they know a lot of people are nervous. Time to take Xanax to calm the nerves. I think the best way to describe Xanax is that any scary thoughts that you have, you could pretty easily just push them away. So this is how they explain the procedure to me. This is my eye. They're gonna put a little thing around your eye to make sure that it stays open. And they're gonna take my eye and they're gonna make a flap like this. And they're gonna open that flap and then they're gonna go laser the inside. This will be the laser. When the laser is done, they're gonna go back in and they're just gonna close that flap. And then they're gonna work on your second eye. That is what the procedure looks like. That was actually worked pretty well. The whole procedure itself takes around like seven minutes per eye, so it's really quick and then they numb your eye beforehand so you really don't feel anything. The whole time you're just staring at this green light. There's this light right above that just blinks and you just stare at that light and then the surgeon just does his thing. I think the best way to describe it is that it's not painful. Like, like if you get a cut, that's pain. It's more uncomfortable. Like there's a pressure in your eye when the laser goes down on it. And if you've ever worn contacts, when the contact is all dry and it feels like your eyes just irritated, that's what it feels like. It's not really like anything to worry about. Now we're back home, I need to uh, sleep. Before the numbing drops go off, I have to sleep and then I'll see you, uh, I'll see you at post, post, post nap. It's been Three, three, I think three hours, woke up. I just feel like there's like bad contacts in. Overall, still pretty good. I have to keep these shades on for the rest of the day so I don't rub my eyes. After the surgery, the biggest thing they told me to do is to have uh, a bunch of lubrication for my eye. So I just have to put a eye drop every two hours in my eye. I keep that up for like three months and then afterwards, 
pretty much fine. I just get vision. I didn't fully appreciate LASIK until last night because last night I was going to go wash my face before bed and usually when I had contacts, I would check around to see how clear my vision was and if my vision was clear, I was like, oh, I need to take out my contacts. But last night, I was looking around, I'm like, oh, my eyes are clear. And then I was like, wait, I don't have to worry about it. That by itself, I was like, wow, that just made the whole thing worth it. So that was my experience with LASIK. 100% I would recommend. I don't know when I'll be back for more consistent videos because I need to let my eyes rest. But um, yeah, that's it for now. Bye. Josh, Chen, and the name Paul for uh, always commenting on every video, keeping the uh, community engagement up.